everyone. We're ready to, it's tacky. And did not have any bubbles when I went to bed last night. And of course there's a few bubbles now. It's tacky. I did try to pop one and it is just too gooey to do anything with. So I'm hoping it will hide in the next layer, which will be clear. Um, and they're very, very small bubbles. So hopefully it'll just hide in the clear bubbles. I mean, in the clear layer. <laughs> uh, clearly I'm still tired because it's just now four in the morning. Um, I do not have enough of the uh, liquid glass uh, super clear left. So I'm going to have to uh, use uh, craft resin. It's the only thing else I have. I need to finish cleaning this out right quick though. Now I gotta open up these new bottles. I've got two bottles of the part A. This is craft resin deep pour. And let's hope it's an easy one to work with. I tried the regular resin and I was not impressed with it. It was quite thick and not easy to work with. It was very bubbly. I didn't like it that much. And that was just their normal resin. It was not like a fast set or anything. Um, okay, that's part A open. Let me get B. Because it comes with two parts A and one part B. And I only need one of A and one of B opened. Came out the bags. Keep away from children. Oh, yeah. That's the back part. Plastic. All right, let's see if I can get this out without spilling. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. Went to bed. Got some on my hand. Let's clean that up right quick. Mm. So I don't get it all over everything. So because this is the tacky stage, it's the perfect time to pour so it, it they adhere and bond to each other. Oh, and I'm going to do the same amount. So now I need to grab, where's my other container at? I'll put you over here, didn't I? Oh, I need it up too. stuff cups ounces and we're going to be doing the same amount so and if it's not enough I can mix up some more so I'm going to do 15 ounces of part B and then 30 ounces of part A Ooh, big bottles and I really really do not like these bottles they are a really pain in the behind to pour out of Well, that didn't go as planned. That went to 16 ounces before I could stop it. So let me clean this lid off before it drips down anywhere. Get a wet wipe out.
kayak begin clean gloves I don't contaminate any part B to my part A Oh, it helps to pour. So now I'm going to have to do two parts of 16. And I need a scraper again too, don't I? Oh. Give me a clean one. I got to drag my drill out too. <clears throat> again. Now, if you all wanted this all one color, you would have done the roughly 90 ounces as one color, where I'm doing, you know, 45 ounces of the one color and 45 ounces of clear, because I want some wood to be seen. Because what's the point of having this gorgeous live-edge wood if you can't see it?
All right, this looks finally fully incorporated. So I'm going to get this brought over, put you on pause, brought, put this over to the vacuum chamber, let it do its thing. Oy. And I'm sorry I can't take you along with me because I only have so many hands and I have to be able to sit there and carefully watch it um, because you do have to, you know, watch the bubbles come up and they get too high. You have to ease off on the, the vacuum and let the bubbles come back down and then you can turn it back up until it comes up to a certain point. You just keep doing that until the bubbles are down and out. Now, you have to be careful on how long you leave it in there, depending on what kind of resin you're using. Um, if you're using like a fast cure, you can't leave it in for too long because, the um, believe it or not, the vacuum chamber actually does create some heating in there when it's doing the vacuum. So you have to um, be careful if you're using your, a fast cure resin in there because it can start the exothermic reaction in there. Oh, wait, i got to hit the pause button, don't I? <laughs> Uh, my brain. <clears throat> One second. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we ready to pour? You're like, get on with the lady. I'm sure. All right, this needs to come a little. Not that far. Yep, I'm going to have to mix up some more. That's what I was afraid of. That's okay. This time I'll put you on pause and we'll come back after it's done and mixed. And I'll just show you the pouring part. Because nobody needs to see the whole mixing again.
Actually, I might not have to. I might have just enough because I'm going to have to sand some of the top down anyhow because of the pressure spots that are holding this down. Actually, I could take that off, can't I? I forgot about that because it's already held down. Should have done that already. Let me do that right quick. Let's see if I can get any more of this out of you. To clean that off the ladies' cookies. Come on, drip, 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 drip. This down in the epoxy. Let go of that. I'm just going to set these aside for right now and I'll put them together later. I just want to get them off. Should have done this ahead of time. I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it because it's already set to the bottom with the, the blue layer. Well, at least it's on the floor and not in the epoxy. Any epoxy on here. Nope, that's a cured spot from the first time I use this. Okay, so this can get set up out the way. You will need cleaning, so we will set you over here. You definitely need cleaning. Set you here. Good thing they're little plastic blocks. Mm, yep, I got some on that one as well. Glutzy, glutzy me. Excuse me. Okay, that's hard on there. That one's hard on there. That's all stuff from before. Okay, so you can go up on your shelf and get a wipe. Go ahead and clean the two coasters off. Spray them down with some alcohol. side for a couple of days, make sure there's nothing on them. And the next one, come here you. And I'll get the box cleaned off and then I can 
move the resin around and see how that's going. <clears throat> as well as cleaning my blocks off. I'm not spraying over the wood and the epoxy. Just trying to spray alcohol on the wet wipe to clean the blocks off. So I can set them on my shelf. For the ones that I've already got out pulled out, I'll get those ones in a minute. They've got a bit more epoxy on them. And these are made from the same steam this of it's HDPE material. Don't ask me to remember what the HDPE stands for. It's some type of plastic and I can't remember from the breakdown of it. <clears throat> hair get up there. My hair's tied up. Okay, let's see about getting some of this brought over. I may have to mix up literally just a smidgen more. Get it up. Because it is going to, you know, shrink as all resins do. I'll let this settle out and I'll use a little lighter to pop bubbles over the next few hours. May not even need to mix up another set of resin because, like I said, it's going to have to have a top coat anyways. So I may not mix up any right now because after my trimming um, and cutting, I usually end up having to do a top coat to give it that hard, clear, uh, the river table top coat because this is just a deep pour. The top coat is a uh, more scratch resistant than the deep pour. So, this may just be what this is. And I see that somehow glitter got in here. Hopefully, my parents don't mind about like four flecks of glitter. Five, six. I don't know how it got in there. It's adhered to the wood. Must have been in the last batch or the first batch that I did to the to the wood it must have been in the the reused cup which I thought didn't have anything in there I 
So I'm going to get the bubbles popped, clean off my tools. We'll be back for the next step. It'll be at least a week because I have the grandbaby this weekend. And this step takes 72 hours to cure. And I have the grandbaby this weekend. So it won't be um, probably until the following weekend. Um, if it's a decent weekend before we can pop this out and do any cutting and stuff. So. It'll be into... The second weekend of March. Before we can even start on it. The next step. If you watch my community tab, I may do, you know, an update picture after this cures while it's still in here. Um, in my Facebook page. But it's not coming out until... Because I don't have anywhere to store it. Um, now, if after, after it cures, I can move it. <laughs> so I can start creating some other stuff. But um, if I do have a spot, I can at least move it to. <sighs> Temporary. But I have to wait till it cures for that. So I have 72 hours. I can't do anything now. At this stage. So. Going to... Clean up and um, we shall see you for the next spot. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow uh, for uh, notifications of uh, more videos. I have lots of other videos. Y'all have a great uh, day. Great rest of the week. Um, it's now 5.16 in the morning, February 28th, Wednesday. I don't know what time I'll get this edited and put up, but hopefully it'll be today. We'll see how long it takes to get it uh, done. I'll have to take a break and rest first before I can even get to the editing part. So thank you all and have a good one. Bye.